Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are tying the Steelhead Goblin streamer and we will be starting with some 6-0 black thread. Tie that in at the back. Wind it back just about to the uh, hook point and we will be tying in a uh, gold tag. Tag just adds a little bit more flash so the uh, steelhead can get attracted to it. Okay, now we're going to be getting some uh, Grizzly Green Rabbit strip. You want to measure that in just a little bit past the hook bend. And you always want to lift up the fur. So you don't trap any of that and you want to cut it off there. Do another little measurement. There we go. And where you're tying it in, you want to grab the fur and lift it up. And what you want to do now is uh, wet your fingers either with saliva or just water and bring that rabbit fur up so it doesn't get in your way and you don't trap it. Now you want to secure that in towards the back. Go, very nice. And now wrap in front. And just hold that there. So this is the uh, point where it'd be probably easier to put some head cement on that uh, thread wrap at the back. So we're just going to do a couple drops there just so it secures it in. back a couple more wraps now we're going to tie in some nice uh, fluorescent chartreuse polar chenille in green okay let's see here Now you want to tie it in where the tinsel, the dubbing, the fluorescent chenille is uh, palmering back. And now you want to tie that in there. Now we're going to get that out of the way. Now this, the rest of this fly becomes a little bit at times difficult to tie in. We are going to be getting some crazy legs, centipede legs in green. We're going to cut a couple off there. A 
and let's see where we want it to be tied in around mid body okay so the easiest way i find is to actually <clears throat> tie them in a knot just one overhand knot and bring it down and that secures it in place to where you want it to be tied in which i like right about there uh, just towards the uh, back and we're just going to secure that in with a couple thread wraps and wind your thread forward and we're going to do that again cutting another piece off of these uh, crazy legs these centipede legs okay and we'll tie that in there just one overhead knot like that there pull it down and the once we're wrapping the chenille over top of it it'll secure it in even more okay wind your thread forward to about uh there about uh eye and a half back <clears throat> Now here becomes the difficult part at times to uh, get around those legs. So we're gonna start wrapping the chenille. And because the chenille is so long with the fibers, at times the legs will get trapped. So you just gotta be careful. And it just takes some practice there. Sometimes you might need Bomb in there and get it out of the way. Get the legs out of the way there. It is well worth it once you're done. But as you can see, this uh, chenille gets in the way. The fibers. And you just got to keep playing with it. Moving the uh, centipede legs away from it the steelhead love this color you know the standard color of course for catching steelhead with streamers purples and pinks but they seem to love this fluorescent green go so we're about there we're just going to tie it off now the hard part is done a little more tension on the vise secure that in there we go and we're just going to pull some of these fibers back And tie in as much as we can. <clears throat> the rest will uh, we'll just trim off there. Now we're going to pull the rabbit strip up. And lock that in. Make sure you lock it in nice and tight there. There we go. Something seems to be going on with my bomb in here. Don't worry about it. Now we're going to grab some fluorescent green schlappen. going to uh, tie that in from the tip and 
And we just need a couple of turns with this so it won't be too, too crazy in here. that in there on the tip. And we're just going to give it a couple of uh, wraps back. We still got those legs in the way. You can trim your legs now to get them out of the way or you can do it after the fact. It doesn't really matter. And that should be good there. Tie that in. Now we'll finish off the head. What you want to do is just make sure everything's covered there. And we'll do a nice little whip finish here. And now we can cut off our legs. You want it about a hook shank and a half back. Make sure you pull down on all four. There we go. That looks good. And I'll grab some UV finish. You can see with the UV how that schlapping kind of Close. And we'll just hit it with the light UV light for a little bit longer. And if you have a comb, we'll just uh, brush it down. Make sure everything's nice and neat there. And there you have it. There is the Steelhead Goblin. Very great streamer for springtime and fall time for the Steelhead. Swing it, dead drift it, you name it, strip it in. I hope you guys enjoyed that and we'll see you next time.